Hi everybody, Brent here from the Pomeroy Kananaskis Mountain Lodge. Once again, a quick training video on checking availability here in Opera. So as part of the sales and events team, whether you're a booker or you're an event manager managing a room block, uh, there's a couple of things here in Opera that you can use to make sure that you can check a real-time availability, especially if you're dealing with a bunch of different room types for your group. So um, I'll just quickly show you the detailed room availability function in Opera. Uh, the shortcut key for this is Control F2. So let's just go ahead and hit that. As you can see, you have the screen here. Um, your start date, it shows you a running two week uh, room availability. So you can either choose it by uh, uh, availability, so the number of rooms available by room type, or you can do it by occupancy. So um, the difference meaning is that occupancy here will show you how many of those rooms are actually occupied or reserved on those particular day. Availability actually shows you what's left. So um, a little bit of a personal preference. But anyways, um, I know when you're in the contracting or in the inquiry phase, um, you know, we want to CI will give you some projected availability or tell you that you can sell. Uh, but because we have such a variety of room types, and especially if you're dealing with a group that would like to have things like uh, an executive suite, which we only have two of, or a hospitality suite, which we only have four of, you're going to want to use Opera first to confirm what you actually have available or what's already been booked definite in the hotel before um, contracting and guaranteeing your group a specific number of rooms or room types. So um, quickly here, we we are total amount of rooms available in the hotel 205 and then it's all broken out by the different room types here so uh, another handy function uh, with this is that if you go into let's say um, okay this Monday we only have three um, uh, loft kings to sell uh, but you need five on that day or you need six on that day uh, we can always check on this blocks function here uh, to see if there are any group actually taking up some of those and you can chat with the other event manager or sales manager to see if you can wheel and deal but it's you can see that there's no blocks that exist for that day so it's going to be mostly transient guests that have booked that room type um, another thing that's handy with this uh, especially if you have a group with a multi-night stay and they want to have of, you know three accessible rooms let's say for their three night stay checking in today so they want to stay monday night tuesday night wednesday night and they need three accessible rooms well we we have it on the wednesday night but we only have one available on monday and one available on tuesday so we're going to go back to that client and say well unfortunately we don't have enough accessible rooms on the monday or tuesday so again this two-week running tally is very very handy to make sure that you can confirm that you have enough of that room type over a multi night stay um, now you can also click on this room plan button here just waiting for it to load so if there is a specific room type that you want to uh, look into it'll give you the housekeeping status it'll give you the guest name that's booked in there um, maybe you know there's one bill that's out of order you can see there's an engineering concern so again some more information for you to see what's going on with that particular uh, that particular room type you can also um, choose the total it won't give you the room plan for all the rooms, um, just if you click on it by particular uh, room type. Uh, that's it for checking detailed availability. Hope you uh, got some value out of this, and we'll see you in the next training video.